So in terms of um, strength, intensity of flavor and, and caffeine as well, you will find that Turkish coffee gives you the most intense, um, followed by plunger, followed by filter coffee if that's what you're using, um, followed by stovetop, and then finally, espresso machine gives you the lowest intensity in terms of caffeine content, but typically tends to give you the highest amount of intensity for flavor. Mm -hmm. And as it turns out, espresso gives you the highest extraction of antioxidants. The people who actually invented, uh, sorry, who discovered coffee, I should say, I think about um, over 1500 years ago, were the Arabs. They actually discovered that by drinking coffee and infusing it into water, it would actually give them a bit of a um, get up and go. And so they were boiling it in, in water. That defined how coffee was extracted for hundreds of years. There were Turkish coffee houses all around Europe, and essentially the way that they used to produce coffee was the, the traditional Arabic way, which is um, in a stove top. And it wasn't until um, a count, and I cannot remember his name to be honest with you, in Italy, had basically spoken to one of these coffee houses, I want coffee but I want it very quickly, that the espresso was born mm. in Italy. And espresso meaning very quick. Mm. The subsequent discovery of espresso was that in actually doing an espresso, you can actually extract the full flavor of the coffee while keeping most of the caffeine behind. So the benefit of doing that is that you are now actually able to contain the caffeine in the ground and actually extract a little bit of it, mostly antioxidants. People in the aim of trying to come up with a very quick cup of coffee will end up ruining it. If you just take a little bit longer, you'll end up having a much nicer coffee.